everybody. It's Brian again. I hope you had a good week. And uh, I hear this week that you're learning about friendship in the family assembly. Did you know that Jesus had a tight-knit group of friends that he called his disciples? That's right, and there were 12 of them. And you know, you might know them as Peter and Judas and Simon and even a guy named Matthew and a guy named Bartholomew. All those guys, all 12 of them followed Jesus around and they were like his cronies, they were his buddies. Now, he called them disciples. A disciple is someone who wants to be a better friend to God and to others. And there are still disciples around today. You know, if you look around this park, I don't think you would see anybody that is what you think a disciple is, with a long beard and dressed in a robe and wearing sandals like they're at the beach. No, not so much. They actually look a lot like you and me, just normal, ordinary people. You know, when you talk about being a friend, sometimes it's not easy being a friend, is it? Sometimes your friends get annoying, sometimes they hurt you, sometimes they say things that you don't really want them to say, and it hurts our feelings. And the best thing to do in those moments is what Jesus did with his friends when they started doubting him, when they started you know, uh, being questioning uh, when they started thinking about why Jesus was doing the things that he was doing. Instead of judging them and stepping away from them, Jesus actually loved them even more and forgave them and understood that that's the way that they were going to think. And that was okay for the time being. We can do the same thing in our friendships. When our friends annoy us, when our friends are upset with us, instead of getting upset back, maybe consider what they're going through. Consider what they have to say. We can be better friends, can't we? I think today in the family assembly, you can go up to a friend that you don't really know and just say hi. Introduce yourself. Ask them to play. Ask them to hang out. Maybe hang out with a brother or sister that you don't always get along with, but you know that they're a lot of fun to be with if you just maybe understood them a little bit more. That's part of being a disciple right here and now in our faith. All right, now before I go, a pop quiz. What do you call someone who wants to be a closer friend to God and to other people? They're called a... Come on, I can't hear you. They're called a... Yes, a disciple. That's absolutely right. And we can be better disciples together in our Catholic faith. I hope you learned something about friendship. And I'll see you next time.